Hi, this is McCoy Buck with WatchMeWork.com. And in this lecture, we're gonna be talking about layer binding in Moho. So binding is essentially taking bones and connecting them to vector or bitmap images. So whatever your character that you had created is made up of, bones are what are going to be bound to those. And that is what's going to help with movement. So there's a couple different ways that you can bind in Moho. There's layer binding, point binding, flexi binding, but one of the ones that we're gonna be focused on in this lecture is layer binding. So layer binding is what you're gonna be using when you want to move an entire layer. So when you should use it is when there is something without any joints, such as this head here. As you know, a head does not bend backwards and forwards. So this would be a perfect example for a layer binding. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Let's add a bone with our add bone tool. So let's go up here to the tools, A on the keyboard. I'm gonna hold down shift to constrain my bone to keep it perfectly straight. And remember, with the add bone tool, what we're looking for is adding the bone in a position where we want the rotation to be. So right about here is kind of where I'm guessing his rotation for his head would be. So I'm going to simply click and I'm gonna drag up. And there you go, we created a bone. Now something that we'll get into a little bit later as we do more advanced rigging is we need to create a root bone. And the root bone is what's going to connect all of your bones together. So don't worry about this part right now because what I'm simply explaining is the method of layer binding itself and how it can be useful. So I'm going to deselect the bone that I just created and I'm simply just going to go down here and I'm going to create a pin bone that's going to re represent my root bone right here. And then we'll get more into this when we talk about parenting in advanced rigging. But I'm simply going to click now on my parent option here. I'm going to parent the head bone to the root bone. This is called the parent-child relationship. The parent is going to be the root bone of all the other bones that I create. If you're doing a full body, the root bone is going to be typically down here in the hips because the legs, the torso, and the head are all going to connect in this portion down here. So in this particular case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the head bone using Alt left click. I'm going to go to my reparent bone tool, which is already selected. And I'm simply with this bone already highlighted red, going to click on my root bone. As you can see there, the arrow is going down to that root bone, showing that those two are now connected. So now when I go to manipulate bones tool on the keyboard or Z, you can see that my bones have strength. Now the thing about layer binding is because you're binding it to a layer and not necessarily to a region or points, you don't need any strength. So let's go ahead and hit S on the keyboard. So you remove the strength as we did before, we're going to click and drag left, click and drag left. And as you can see there, our strength is gone. So let's go to the manipulate bones tool one more time and let's click on this head right here. And it's going to rotate down here at this point on his head. Okay, and as you can see there, his whole body is rotating and it shouldn't be doing that. And the reason why it's probably doing that if you run into that situation is because it looks like the bone strength is still on just a tiny bit. So let's go ahead and let's highlight that bone. If I hit S on the keyboard, yep, you can see there, there's 0 0.0097 strength still remaining. So what I need to do is I need to bring that down to zero. So now when I rotate the head bone, this bone will now not be controlling anything. So now what we need to do next is we need to bind this bone to the head. Now this character is beautiful and it's actually pretty complex. This character was made by Ogusan. And as you can see here, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of assets inside of the head, the ears, the textures, there's a lot that's happening. So what the character designer had done is he created a head group layer. And we'll talk about this. This is going to be really helpful in the future. But what he did is he took all of these assets, so rather than having to bind them one by one to this bone, as you can see, there's a lot. There's bangs, there's the knot for the bandana, all the different bangs, the top of his hair, his head. He took all of those layers and he grouped them inside of a head group layer, which is a really smart idea. So now what I can do, because those are all inside one group, is I simply just take this bone and bind it to this head layer. So to bind layers, I have to select the layer that I want to bind. If you watch right here in the tools menu, as I change between the main bone and the head layer, my dynamic toolbox will change, giving me less tools to work with as I move to the head layer. 
So I still have my select bone, my manipulate bone, and this one right here is what we're gonna use. This is called your bind layer. And this is what's gonna allow me to bind this bone to this layer. So I'm gonna click this button. Now I'm gonna click on the bone that I want to bind to that layer. And there you go. Now this bone is bound to the head layer. So let's go ahead and let's collapse that. And if I hit Z on my keyboard to do my manipulate bones tool, I can now rotate this head backwards and forward. And I don't have to worry about any of the assets not being connected because they're all inside of this group. And that is how you bind a layer in Moho. Be sure and join me in the next lecture where I talk about flexi binding. I'll see you there.